Baptist Church. Mike will be buried at Evergreen Memorial Gardens in Thomasville. Well, and tomorrow, Fernando George will have his homecoming. His ashes are being delivered to Mobile Regional Airport to be flown to California. And the public can take part in the ceremony. Fox 10 News reporter John Rogers tells us about it. It's been more than two weeks since a training accident killed four of our local heroes. Chief Petty Officer Fernando George was the first victim to be recovered. And tomorrow, the Patriot Guard will lead the way for his journey home. The Guard is mainly made up of veterans themselves, and they provide escorts to heroes like George. It touched the whole community. It touched the whole bay. It touched all of us. As the urn is transported to the airport, the Patriot Guard will lead a procession around 1030, starting at the intersection of Cottage Hill and Schillinger. From there, the procession will head west toward Airport Boulevard and take a left to Mobile Regional Airport. If you'd like to take part in this processional, the Patriot Guard suggests that you stand along the road in between Schillinger and the regional airport, so that way you can pay homage to a fallen American hero. To show honor, to show respect. You can also line the road along Schillinger as well. A fellow Coast Guard member will take George on his last drive through Mobile, a drive in George's own car. He, I believe, just purchased it. It's something that he has been saving for. Life is so fragile, you never know when your time is up. George left this world trying to make it a safer place. And the least we all can do is say thank you. Reporting in Mobile, John Rogers, Fox 10 News. And he'll be buried in California. And just a reminder, the procession starts at the intersection of Cottage Hill and Schillinger at 1030. And you can line up all throughout the route.